Special thanks to Empower for sponsoring this video. Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven. Welcome back to another vlog. Today is going to be all about getting ready for my housewarming party. If you've been watching my vlogs, you know I've been talking about this. This is going to be my first ever time throwing a house party, like really period in my whole life. So I'm trying to make this housewarming party really cool, really lit, really good. And you guys know me, I'm kind of like a little bit of a <laughs> Virgo perfectionist. So I'm trying to put a lot of thought into this and my mom has been helping me plan it. So today we need to definitely go over the plan. Once again, my mom has a whole Google doc and everything and we're gonna have to go shopping. I know we need to buy some liquor. We need to buy some decor items, some kind of like party setup type items. And one of the major, major key factors to the success of this housewarming party is the fact that I am getting my new outdoor kitchen put in literally right now. Kind of last minute because the party is literally like a week, a week away or something like that. But uh, yeah, so my outdoor kitchen is being installed right now. They're literally working on it right now. They just started this morning. So yeah, they're putting the base in right now. And then I already have all of the appliances and everything. It's like in my garage, the grill, the fridge, the sink, all that stuff. They said that it should only take about four days to complete it. So it should be done and ready in time for the party. So yeah, we're trying to get the house together for the house room party, get everything together for the party and also just get the house together in general just to live in. I've obviously been spending a lot and also just trying to keep track of my spending and stay on budget and everything like that. So I've recently discovered the Empower Banking app. I went ahead and downloaded the Empower app to my phone and I also opened a high interest checking account with Empower. They actually have premium features and benefits to actually help you succeed financially. So with traditional banks and probably a lot of the banks that you guys are using, they charge you ridiculous fees and they have ridiculously low interest rates. With those low interest rates, your money is like not growing. It's like impossible for your money to actually grow just sitting in those banks. And also they really don't offer you any personalized advice to actually help you succeed financially. So like I said, I opened a checking account, so I've got the Empower debit card, and with the Empower high interest checking account, there's no overdraft fees, no account fees, no insufficient fund fees, none of that. So obviously for the account itself, the high interest is really nice, the no fees on pretty much anything is also really nice. But with the app itself, what I think is really cool is that it does have artificial intelligence. It's a very intelligent, app that actually helps you track your spending and cut down on spending in certain areas so automatically it kind of categorizes your spending into different things like food, gas, like Ubers and coffee and shopping. Um, it has a bunch of different categories and there's just a lot of nice features on this app that help you automatically categorize and keep track of all your spending. So the artificial intelligence really helps but they also do have an entire team of actual financial experts that you can talk to anytime 24 seven and get all of your questions answered. So you can literally get personalized recommendations and custom budgets from these financial experts so you can learn how to earn more money and save more money. So this has definitely been helping me out with, like I said, keeping track of everything and staying on top of my budget when it comes to everything with the house since I've been spending a lot more. So I would definitely recommend it to you guys if you guys are looking for ways to keep track of your spending and earn more money and save more money. All the links and everything will be down below if you guys wanna check it out. Okay, so like I said, my mom, sorry for the banging, they're building a thing, but my mom made a whole um, packet. <laughs> Menu, shopping list, plan for the whole party. We sat down and talked about it. Like you guys saw in that other vlog, we went to lunch and we kind of started making a plan, but I'm not sure exactly what else you added, so. Well, I just wanted to go over the menu with you and then like a list of things we need, what we already have, what we have to get. And today, I think it'd be a good idea for us to shop for the non-perishables and the things that won't go bad or things we could put in the freezer. This is a lot of shopping for probably about 50 people. That's yeah. a lot. So far, I think I invited about it was like up to like 60, 65 people that I invited so far. I have about 45 people who for sure RSVP'd with a handful of people who just haven't officially RSVP'd yet, but I think it's gonna be about 50 people. 
So there's the menu. Instead of doing several different appetizers, we're just gonna do one huge grazing board that's gonna have fruit, veggies, dips, nuts, olives. We're gonna have some layering going on. There's gonna be some greenery. It'll be my first time doing this. So. <laughs> but anyway. Okay, so the menu. First thing. Menu, is, first thing is the charcuterie. Cheese, meat, fruit, nuts. The big uh, candy, layout. pickles, olives, all kinds of stuff. So the main dishes, we got chicken, beef, and shrimp. A barbecue brisket that your daddy's gonna smoke. And um, chicken, I'm gonna do, I was gonna do chicken skewers, but that's a lot of skewering. That's a whole lot of skewering. You always been wanting to put something on a skewer <laughs> every time. So we're gonna do um, uh, chicken wings. Mango jerk chicken wings. You like okay. that? Yeah. Okay, so that's all the food. Chicken brisket, shrimp, sides, charcuterie, drinks. The fun drink is gonna be the margarita machine. So I wanted to have something like fun, like for the party, like, I don't know, like a little, add some pizzazz to the party. So I decided I wanted to get a margarita machine. I think I picked like strawberry and regular like margarita. It's kind of sort of like in the way, but I think it's fine. But the main area I'm gonna be using this whole uh, island and my vision was for the whole like, my vision was for the whole like charcuterie appetizer thing where like, I guess we're gonna be using these. I don't know, I've obviously never done this before. Okay, we got the charcuterie. The grazing table is what it's called. It's gonna be fine. Okay, then you've got brisket. It's gonna be in a chafing dish. So, we're having two of those, right? Yeah. Set brisket, chicken and shrimp, beans, oh, yeah. the bread. Set it up to where one side has the meats laid out and one side has the Okay, out. food right here. And then, yeah, in a separate area, you're gonna to wanna to have plates, cups, of where you can use, you know, obviously you can move this stuff out of the way and have all your stuff set up over here so that people can easily access it and not be trying to reach over food to get a plate and whatever. Drink dispensers. Drinks can be over here. Or even if I wanna move my coffee stuff out the way for the time being and put drinks right here or, or whatever else over here as well. So anyway, that's the basic plan. You know, we've got appetizers and the food, using the island for mainly everything. We've got other countertop space for all the rest of the stuff, and we will have space to put another table for the desserts and everything, plus extra drinks and seating and stuff out on the patio. So I think we're good in terms of having space to set everything up. I think on the day of, it's gonna be a little bit of a challenge to set it up and make it look pretty and make it look all Pinteresty and stuff because we don't really have a lot of experience with that but I think we'll figure it out um, so now we just need to go shopping because we have a bunch of stores we need to go to a bunch of stuff we need to get and a limited amount of time so all right first stop is Home Depot I want to look at their plants and just stuff for like the patio um, I also need like some plants for inside my house I think I'm gonna actually try to get some real plants I always get fake plants I like these. It's just, I'm afraid that I'll just like kill it and it'll just be dead in like a week. And that's a hundred dollars gone. You have to decide, like some of these are straight up and like this one's like more full. This is a beautiful one. Go stand next to it for size comparison. <laughs> so it's like six, six, seven feet. So then there's these plants, which look more tropical vacationish. These are palm, majesty palm I think is what it's called. So this, I think, like, would look good on the patio because it kind of just gives you that more, like, patio vibe rather than inside of your house vibe. All right, so I think I am gonna try and come back and get, like, two of those big fiddle leaf trees and maybe one of the palm trees for outside, but I need to find a day when my brother can come with his pickup truck to transport them because they're huge and they don't fit in my mom's car or my car. So we will get that situated another day, maybe tomorrow or something. Now we are gonna head to Hogan's. Alright, so 
So now we are at Home Good. We need crates. Fifty dollars on crates that I'm gonna use one time. This is the thing about throwing parties. It's so expensive, and then it's just one day, and then it's just gone. I mean, these crates I could possibly reuse in some sort of way around the house, I'm sure. That's cute. I don't love that this looks so, it looks like it's missing a piece, doesn't it? I mean, they're they're modern. They're definitely like more of a modern look mm -hmm. without the little decorative top part, but I don't know if it's too simple. Okay, so here's all the black iron modern looking lanterns they have. I would really like, to get the full effect, I feel like I would need like six of them. Yeah. I could get a few of these and then check Target and Walmart and maybe fill in the gaps. For the candles that go inside, my mom was saying that she has, she already has a set of these like fake LED candles where it's just like powered with a remote. So I could borrow her set or I could buy, how much is this, 25? That's five of them. Mm -hmm. So I'll have to maybe borrow an extra candle from you if I get six lanterns. So I'm gonna be using plastic silverware for the party, but when I had brunch at my house, I realized that I only had like four forks. <laughs> so I need silverware just for my house mm -hmm. in general. Home Goods is a good place six, to get a four, set. Service for eight. I don't think I need any more dishes or anything. We're supposed to be shopping for the party. We're also shopping for the home to make the home look good for the party, that. so that counts as part of the party. And I tried a DIY painting for my kitchen, but I felt like the one I made was too small because it was like half this size. And I feel like this size is what I need for my kitchen. So I'm considering something like this. I don't know if this looks a little too zebra print, gaudy, doing too much. I think I would like it more if there was more white, like if it was less, just less going on. This painting I really like, but it's not quite the right colors. Okay, we're in Target now. Did you really think we were not gonna go to Target? Um, I wanna look at their outdoor decor. My mom said we're gonna go to Target real quick, and I'm like, mm. Look, here's mommy. Yeah, those do look nicer than the ones at Home Goods. Okay, we should have got a basket. That's all we're getting, right? Right? Um, well, give me a chance to look around. We don't need anything. Why are we looking? You don't know what you need until Target tells you what you need. Now we are at At Home, the Home Superstore, whatever it's called. We're back here in like the summer clearance section. They have some lanterns like on clearance, but not any cute ones. I was also looking at big pots to put those plants in if I get those like uh, fiddle leaf plants. I didn't really see anything that was exactly what I was looking for. Okay, I think I'm going with these lanterns. They're simple, standard classic. They're a little raggedy, <laughs> but. Super gluing together. Yeah, the glass is kind of rickety in there. As long as these don't get kicked over, I think they should be fine. They're $25 each, and they're like one of the biggest ones. They are the biggest ones here. The amount of vlogs that I've done, I've just come into all these stores over and over again. Like, I live in these stores. I spent so much money at these stores. Okay, so we didn't actually see anything at Hobby Lobby. We're in Ross right now. And on second thought, because the things that I bought are kind of like this, I was thinking like, why did we buy gray crates from Home Good, Home Goods if I'm gonna be putting this on top? Like that's, like why did we get gray? So I was like, it'd be better if we got like just a regular wood tone crates, just so everything matches. So they've got these at Ross. I think you could even do darker ones. There's like this set. This is not quite, no. that's like yeah, not brown enough. We're just kind of trying to make this whole setup like coordinate. And they're cheaper here at Ross, like $9.99, $7.99. There were some at Hobby Lobby, but they were like $20. So we're at Costco. We need to get, how many bottles do we need for 50 people? This is a good, nice, middle of the road red. Okay, two red wines. 
I'd only grab two just right now. I'm going to have to grab. Oh, more than two? two? Really, she's just scamming me, y'all, because she just wants to take it home afterwards. Oh, I'm a big sweet, so I'm going to get some sweets. My friends like Moscato, I know that. That's Sweet like. red. Yes. Apparently, my friends like Stella Rose. Yes, I don't know. Like Kool Tastes like Kool Aid. <laughs> so, we're getting the Kool Aid wine That's okay. for the kids. You like what you like. The children's wine and the grown folks' wine. All right, so far, we got the wine, we got the chicken, got some plates, got some forks and knives and stuff. We're trying to decide how many bags of shrimp I should really get. 40 skewers, three shrimp per skewer. Each person gets three <laughs> shrimp. That's it. Don't be greedy. But let's say it's 50 in each bag. We get 200 shrimp for two bags. 50 times two is 100, not 200. What are you talking about? That's 100 so shrimp, shrimp skewers I for 50 like people. Two shrimp per person. <laughs> okay, so I am home now. I loaded everything up into my pantry. So this extra pantry space actually does come in handy for entertaining and holding extra stuff so we got the beer the silverware plates uh, some extra plates and cups that i had left over from another party so i'll probably use some of those all the wine that we got at costco that has the two tequila bottles in it that is one of the um little what is it called shafer thing for the food so i'm just keeping everything over here until the party so yeah like i said the extra space definitely comes in handy so got all that stuff and then i kind of wanted to see like what this would look like so i want to kind of test this out these are the crates that we got from ross and then the trays that i already had okay so this looks a mess but if you can use your imagination having brown paper rolled across the whole entire island pretty much and then having like this stuff set up on top so you know, you got some height to it. You can also like put like bread like piled up inside of there. And then of course, like having piles of stuff on here, having like dips and other smaller stuff in some of the bowls. But then since there's gonna be paper down, you actually have food like coming off of the tray and like everything is like filling up in between, you know, you know, something like that. If you can use your imagination. <laughs> I don't know, this is kind of the basic vibe of what i'm going for i guess and of course we have the lanterns that i bought so the two ones the magnolia ones from target and the ones from at home i want to bring these out on my patio now and kind of like see like where i would even put these and if they even look good because i don't know i'm not totally sold on the whole lantern thing and the construction workers are gone. So they finished up for the day this is what they got done so far today they just started today, so this is good progress for one afternoon. So basically, the plan is, you can see how there's kind of like one, two, three, four sections. So this section is gonna hold the grill. This section is gonna be open shelving, which is like countertop space on top. This section is gonna be for the sink. So it's gonna have like a cabinet door because you have to have like empty space underneath the sink for the plumbing so there'll be a cabinet door right there and then this section is going to be for the mini fridge so that'll slide into there and then on this part since there wasn't enough space to just like like enough wall space over there to just connect the kitchen to the wall because obviously you don't want the kitchen to be butting up against the glass door he said that it would be best to just do a little corner moment here and he's gonna put diagonal shelves going like this i'll insert some pictures of the actual digital rendering that he did for me so you guys can see kind of what the plan is so i can just put like some cute little things on the shelves and it'll be a nice little a nice little cut off rather than just having it like awkwardly cut off right here so yeah it's coming together i'm excited i can actually kind of see like envision it now for size reference 
you guys can kind of see, you know, standing here, it's just like typical countertop height. So yeah, this is what my patio is looking like right now. Zaya's little pool is just chilling right there. I'm definitely gonna put that away. Um, the couch got moved out of the way, but it'll be more like scooted up. Okay, so these lanterns. I think they're nice lanterns. I think they're a good size. I was thinking of doing like one, two, three down the stairs, but I, mean, I think that's cute. I mean, it's a cute little touch. And at nighttime to actually have the candles in there and turned on to like, give that cute little vibe of the candlelight. I think that could be cute. I honestly don't even feel like I need a third one, like to put a third one down here on this step. Is that cute? I don't know. Okay guys, so I think that's the end of this vlog. I am so hot and sweaty now from all this running around to different stores. I think it's like 100 degrees today. But anyway, we got a lot done today, bought a lot of stuff that we needed. So I'm feeling prepared. I'm feeling confident about this party. There's a few more things that we need to get and just make sure that we set everything up on the day of. But I will have friends coming in town to help me and my mom. I also think I'm going to actually be the like hiring the cleaning service that I normally use to like clean my house. I think I'm gonna get one of them to come on the day of the party to just help with cleaning and setting up and everything like that. So that should be good because it is gonna be like 50 people. So it's a lot of food, it's a lot of people, a lot of cleanup, a lot of setup. So hopefully everything turns out good. You guys will get to see for yourselves coming up in one of my future vlogs. I will be vlogging the day of the party so you guys can see number one, how the patio turns out with the finished kitchen and everything, and also just how the party turns out in general and see who all is coming. I got some some friends coming from out of town, some people you may recognize. Uh, so yeah, hopefully everything turns out good. Wish me luck. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.